a four bite long Turk's head. That's what we're going to do today. So welcome back everybody. And today we're going to tie, I love the Turk's head knot. It's just a beautiful symmetrical knot. And as you can see here, I've got myself a piece of pipe. And what I normally do is I have a piece of pipe. I tie my Turk's head on the pipe. And then when I've sort of close to finishing, before I tighten up, I would slide that off and put it onto a walking stick handle or something like that. It just makes it a little bit easier to tie it on something shorter than if you're wrestling with a long pole or something. So anyway, this is the four byte Turk's head and I believe this one is 21 leads. And the actual, let's see, I've, I started off by going round my piece of pipe three times. And the beautiful thing, this is the wonderful thing about this particular Turk's head knot is that we could cover this pipe if we wanted to by using the same principles as we're going to use when we tie this particular one. So if we wanted to make it even longer, all we do is in the very beginning, and I'll show you that as we do it, in the very beginning, it's the first amount or the first turns that you put around your pipe that dictate how long it's going to be. So in this particular case, I took my lead round three times to produce. Let's have a look at it. We have got a four inch long Turk's head on a, I think this is, well, that wasn't, that's not very good, is it? It is, let's do it in metric. It is a an 11 centimeter long Turk's head. And the actual pipe itself is 22 millimeters in diameter. So 2.2 centimeters in diameter. And what I will do is at the end of this video, I will tell you how much cordage I needed to create this particular length of paracord. And from that, you'll be able to work out if you want to make a longer one or not, how much cord it's actually going to use. If you've watched the video previously on the two byte Turk's head, which I've done, I'll put a link up to that as well at the end of the video. So if you're not sure about a Turk's head, start off with the two byte Turk's head. It's just a little bit easier than the four byte, but the, the four byte and the two byte, it's almost exactly the same procedures you follow in creating it. It's just on the four byte, there's one little extra thing that you do that actually changes the design of it to turn it into a four byte rather than a two byte Turk said. And I will show you at that point in the video when we get to it. So if you know the two byte Turk's head, this is gonna be a very simple transition for you from the two byte to the four byte Turk's head. So I think to be honest, I have cackled on long enough, but you can see here, we've got a rather beautiful knot and that is now what we're going to recreate on our video. So don't forget, all measurements will be at the end. And as I go through it as well, I'll give you little tips and tricks with regards to this that I found as I've gone along doing this one. So let's get on and let's start knotting. See you on the other side. Right, so let's get on and make our I do love a Turk's head, so it's a lovely Turk's head that we're going to make. I've got my two colours here, put that one out of the way to start with. And as you can see, I have got my 22 millimeter pipe. You can have bigger or smaller pipe, it doesn't matter at all. And in this particular case, I've drilled a hole in that end just to lock my cord in place as I wrap it round. It just makes it a little bit easier. You can, if you want to, just put a bit of um, masking tape round there or elastic band to hold it in place the choice is yours okay so and oh yeah and on the other end i have got myself a lacy needle not really essential for this job but it certainly does help you can do it without but i would recommend you get yourself a good paracord lacing needle and once again i'll put a link in the end of the video as to where you can get all the stuff from yeah okay so let's get on and make our um four bite I think it's 21 leads, was it? Turk's head, so it's a, it's a four byte long Turk's head. Right, so I've got my pipe laid out ready. I've got my cord going here and going onto the floor and I've got a massive snake's wedding on the floor and hopefully I don't end up with any knots coming up. And so now we're gonna go ahead and tie our 
Four bite, Turk's head. Right, first thing we do is we go around our pipe once, twice, three times, like so. Now that we've gone round three times, try and keep it fairly stretched out, okay? Now it's at this point you make your decision how long you want your four bite Turk's head to be. In this particular case, I don't have a large enough piece of rod here to make it any bigger, but if, say for example, you were covering a walking stick or something like that, then you could, in fact, increase the turns so that it's always an odd number. So I've done three, we could go five times round, seven times round. You get the picture, okay? So now that I've gone round three times, I'm gonna go back the other way. And basically, I'm just gonna neatly, as neat as you can, just cross over, going back the other way, like so. Keep it stretched out until we get to the beginning there again. So now that I'm at the beginning, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it round the back like so and then I'm following this one down but going down the middle here. So basically down the middle here, follow it round, keep your fingers at this end holding it so it stays stretched out and just basically follow it round like so until we get to this end. Okay. And so now that we've come out at the top end here, like so, so we've crossed over that line there, we've come over the top there, and the next thing we're gonna do now is we're going to go down the other way. Now, this time when we go down the other way, we're gonna actually weave our way down. So basically, we're gonna follow this top line here, and wherever this one goes over one, we're gonna go under one. So in that way it's going under one, we're gonna go over one. So what I'm gonna do now, and I'll go slightly out of sound reach, I grab the end of my needle here, and I'm gonna go there and pass it underneath that one, and weave my way down to the other end. So there we go. Pull it through, and then grab Pull all your work through. Goes on forever to start with because you've got so much cordage. And don't forget, I will put the measurements at the end as to how much cordage I've used. Okay, so we've gone under that one. So we go over that one. And we're now going underneath that one because that one's going over. So let's take that down. And that's all we do till we get to the other end. We go under, over, under, over. Just the opposite of the one above. There we go. Just make sure no tangles get in it and keep it stretched out because you will want all the excess later on, as you will see. So now that one's going over there. So we want to go under. Oh, just try and do it for the camera. There we go. Pull it all through. And don't forget, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you hate it, give me a thumbs down, I don't mind. But please, comment. Tell me why. Tell me why you liked it, tell me why you hated it. Okay, so we've gone on to the next one. That's going under, so we're gonna go over. And here, we're gonna go under this one here, like so. Okay, and pull all the excess through. Just keep twisting it so you don't get any kinks in because you want it to look as neat as possible. Try and get the pattern just to remain in the same direction. So it's over. Then we're going to go under that one there because the one above's going over. So go under that one there. Like so. Pull the excess through. Like so. There we go. Coming through, oh, there we go. And then that one's going, so that's going over, that's going under. So finally we go over the last one because we're gonna do exactly the opposite as what we did before. It's always over, under. And then we're now here and bring it over. And hey presto, we're back at the beginning again. And this now, the next bit is easy, dead easy because all we're gonna do 
is follow the original, the first lead here, we're following that all the way down and we're doing exactly the same. So we're going to create a tram line going all the way down. So if that one goes under, we're going under there. And that's all we're doing. We're following that one round like so. Get all the, oh, look at the tangles coming in here. Every so often you have to stop and basically untangle your work, or not untangle it, but allow it to twist on the end of the needle to get all the kinks out of it. There we go. And so if we follow that round there now, you can see now it's going over, so we want to go under the next one, like so. And that's all we do. Just follow it all the way round. So what I'll... Uh, no, you can follow me. It makes no odds. Okay, so follow me this way. So it's going over. Now we go under again. Like so. And it gets caught on anything. You know what it's like working with long stuff. There we go. Take the kinks out, unravel it all, and then just keep following round. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep following that piece round there till we get to the very top, and then when we get to the very top, I'll come back to you. Okay, so as you can see here now, I've been following that one round here now, and as I take it here to the top, I get to this point here, and at this point, I'm actually going to separate it out because we're going to now change direction and go a different way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath, sorry, over the top of this one. So we're going to do exactly the opposite of this lead here now. So this one is going under that lead there, if you see. So that's going under that one there. So I'm going to go over and under the next one. So over and under the next one and pull my excess through. Now you'll know if you're doing it right because the next one is a good clue to show your heading in the right direction because we're going to go, if that one goes under two, we're going to go over two. So we're going to go, oops. So there we go, we're going there. We're following the one above it, but we're going to do the opposite of what it's, what it's doing. And so that is going under, so we're going to go over and then under the next one. So it's always over, under, over, under. And then so under that one and pull it through. Keep pulling it all through, that's so. There we go. So we've basically gone over two, under one. We now go over two again, under one. So bring that all the way up and I'll keep following that up. So over two, and that one's going over, so we're going to go under, like so. Pull the excess through, like so. Just gently pull it through, because we don't want to scrunch it all up, like so. So we're going, that one's going under two, so we're going over two. We're going under the next one there, like so. It all looks a bit jumbled up when you get to this stage, but don't worry, it all sorts itself out as well, providing you're following these instructions. Don't forget, rewind every so often if you need to, just to catch it again. And once you've learned this one, it's a fantastic little knot to know. So there we go, we've gone under one, we're going over two there now, and then we've got to go under, under this one here because the other one's going over. So we go there like that, and now we're back at the top, and this is, this is again another easy little piece. Now, those two tram lines that we made earlier, what we're gonna do now is, with this lead here, we're gonna go over this one here, and we're gonna go and do exactly the opposite of what the tram line's doing, and splitting it at the same time. So they're both going under, so we're gonna go over and then under the next one. So split those two little tram lines there, and that's all you're doing all the way up the cord this time. It's going 
exactly the opposite of the two leads on either side and you separate them as you're going along. There we go. And so now we're over two and we're going under that one there. So separate them out, go underneath like so. And don't forget, I'll put the measurements on at the end so that you know exactly how much cordage I, cordage I use for making this one. So there we go, we've split those two tram lines. We're gonna split them there, but we're going over and then under. And my dog is dreaming. Can you hear him dreaming? That's how boring I am for my dog. He says, you're a notter, you're a boring, boring person. Okay, and then we're going over two again, but splitting those two out. So over two, split those out. And then we get to the top very shortly. And it's almost sip of coffee time. You always feel like you want a sip of coffee. Okay, and so we can see there now that they go over. So we need to go over those two and under that one there, and we're now at the bottom end again. So I'm gonna have a sip of coffee after all that work, and I'll catch you in a second. Right, so now that we're at this end, we've split those two all the way, and what we're gonna do is create another loop here, at this point here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go under this one now, and we've got two there, we're gonna separate them all the way up. So if I now, you can see here, I'm going over one here, and then I'm going to go underneath this one where there's two running alongside each other. So take it underneath like so. Well, I've got it caught up again. And you can see I'm getting less and less paracord as I do this. And now I've done the first tuck. You see those two leads are side by side. I'm gonna separate them all the way down. So basically I'm gonna go over that one now to separate those two and underneath that one there. And so we're just following that route down all the way till we get to the other end. So let's just pull that through. Take all the twists out, there we go. And it gets a little bit messier now because you, it's harder to see. But you can see now we've got, got to go over one, under one, and we're separating these two out here. So we're going over that one and under that one there. And you will have some sort of slack areas and tight areas as you work your way through. And just pull it up like so. And just keep going. Just keep going and I can see it's getting twisted. So I'm gonna untwist it all at this end as well. And then basically, let's see now. So here I've separated it. I've got quite a gap there, but we're gonna go over that one under the next one. So over and under, keep separating those two out. Make sure you don't catch it on the next one. Pull it through like so. Like so there, and then over and under again. Once again, just a little reminder, if you like it or hate it, please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, but leave me a comment so I know how to improve these videos. Okay, and so once again, we're going over and under, just to separate those two, because you can see those two there are going over, so we've got to go under to keep the pattern going. And keep, keep it going, and gently pull up, untwist it, and then under, over one again, under the next one, like so. There we go. So separate them out a bit, over that one, under the next one. Let's see, that one's then over and under. So, and then over, under. 
So it's over, under, over. So it's, let's see, just follow that through. So it's going over that one. Yeah. And bear with me a second. I can see there's, okay. So now just be careful here. So we've got to go over this one. And then this one was sort of tucked up there. Just bring it down into play. You'll, you'll, you'll get used to it. So we're going over, under, and then the final one is over, like so. Whoops, caught in the corner of the tablecloth again. There we go. And then we are now back at the beginning again. And if I go under here now, that completes the Turk's head. So that is, the Turk's head now is absolutely complete. Okay? So basically, if I stretch this out and make it look nice and even, you can see now here, I have got a four byte, 21 lead Turk's head. And at this point here, this is where I would follow it down and basically just all you're doing now is following the pattern by doubling up. So double up and follow the pattern. But you could, if you wanted to now, stop here and then tighten up this one and then you've got a nice Turk's head with a lot of spaces in between, which does look good in itself. Um, but the other thing I would recommend now as well is that once you go round and double up and treble up with your cords, it's going to become so tight on here, it's going to be an absolute nightmare to take off. But here, we still have the ability to actually take it off here and slide it onto, say, a walking stick or something else. So it's at this point, you would take it off this um, piece of pole here and put it onto something else. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go around and double up a little bit so you can see how the pattern works. And then that you've done it. You've basically done your four byte Turk's head. And you can see here now we've got one, two, three, four bytes on there, four bytes at the other end, nice even pattern. And if I spread it out like that, it does need to be, I do need to go around and just tighten up a little bit. But what I'll do is I'll just put a couple of, I'll just go around a little bit and just show you what I would do next to get back to the original one you saw at the beginning of the video. Right, so as you can see, I'm at the very start point again. I'm next to the original lead that comes. That's the very first lead that we did. I'm now back next to that. So what I would do is I'm just going to follow that lead. Just follow it down like so. And you can see here now that we're starting to double up. So I just follow it again. And that's all it is now. Now is just, we've done the hard bit or... Well, some people consider this the hard bit, just the, the boring bit. Okay, got a knot in there, pull my knot out, that's it. And so now you can see here now, it's starting to double up. And that's all I would do all the way around my Turk's head so that I've doubled it. And then I'm going to go around a third time with a different colour. So I'll just quickly show you that, how I would do that. Okay, let's pretend now. Pretend time again, we like pretend time. So I've basically, what I've done is, I've doubled it up there. Imagine that I've gone round the whole thing, the whole four byte Turk's head, and I've now put two rows of green in there. And the next thing I'd do, just to make it look a little bit more decorative, I would then treble it, going through the middle of those two there, with a different colour. And so basically just follow it round again through like so with a different colour until you come back to the very beginning again. And then once, once you get back to the very beginning, you can cut the ends off really flush and tuck it underneath and maybe finish it with the finishing solution. And if you want to know about the finishing solution, it will be at the end of this video as well, a link to that. And so there we have it. That is our 4 byte Turk's Head. And all it is, it, I just haven't completed it all, unlike the, the very beginning of the video where you saw it all fully completed. But I'll, I'll see if I can put another overlay in this one so you can see it completed again rather than having to rewind the video. 
But the Turks head knot is very, very easy to do once you've got your head around it. That's the thing. It's okay. I say it's very, very easy. No, it's not. It's 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 fairly difficult. Um, but if you follow the instructions, just press pause. And a good tip for you: the space bar. If you're on a on a normal computer, is also the pause button, so that you can quickly press the space bar, do your little bit, and then catch up on the video again. But you can see here now we've got a lovely looking Turk's head starting to appear here now and I've just inserted that red colour there just to make it look even more decorative. Okay, So once again, just leaves me to say thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please share it. I like it when you share it because others can benefit as well. And give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down and please leave a comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like or what you want to see in the future because it's only by your comments that I can actually get on and do things. Okay. So that is the 4 byte 21 lead Turk's head. And don't forget, if you want to make it longer than this one, you just do more turns around the pipe itself. Okay? And measurements will appear shortly. Okay? So thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.